Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jesse the Planets. I know you're enjoying our YouTube videos. That's why you don't want to miss anything. So like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you will know when we post new content. That's like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Do it now, so watch this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse DePlanis here. Thank you for tuning in to Faith the Facts. I want to tell you something, uh, and I've been pushing back on this for quite a while. A lot of people, especially in the last few years, when I say a few, probably 10, 15, uh, th that's not much when you're my age. <laughs> Hallelujah. They call me, if, if they introduce me. We have one of the generals of God here today, and I'll stand up and go, well, who's here? You know, and I'm looking. They call me a general, and I always kind of push back on that because I've been preaching a long, long time, and I've been in this for quite a, quite a, quite a long time. And you don't, I always say this, uh, the reason why they call you a general means uh, you're getting old, you know. You don't see young generals too much, you know, as a rule. But anyway, I want to talk about me. Yeah. I want to talk about this title, and it is this, Generals of Faith Don't Quit. And I don't mean to sound arrogant or prideful. I don't have the, the, the quit in me. I made up my mind that I will complete my destiny and reach my destination, no matter what people say. And I've been royally persecuted. Good God. I mean, in the media, everywhere, and people lie, say things that are simply not true. But, you know, people believe them. But when you're a general of the Lord, and I don't mean that arrogantly, that's what God has done for me. I'm a spiritual father. I have a lot of spiritual sons and daughters, all those different things. You just don't quit because leadership should never quit. And let me tell you why. Here's a great verse, Galatians 6, verse 9. Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. I mean, my God, people say, you don't worry about nothing. Would it help? Come on, think about it. Would it help? No, well, and he used to get weary about it because, you know, I'm the head of this mission. I got to go do what I got to do. You know, you don't, hear, see, you don't hear God saying, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these kids of mine. No, he has to do what he has to do. In other words, I have a job, he has a job, and we just go forward. He don't get weary in it. I don't get weary in mine because we got a destiny and destination to reach and to complete and to do what God has called us to do. Here's another wonderful scripture, and I love it. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. Now, let me stop there for a minute. In other words, I don't care whether you, you speak against faith, you can speak to your blue in the face. The only way you're going to please God is not with the things you do, is by having faith in him. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, that he's what? That he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I asked the question today, do you diligently seek him? You know, when I preach with uh, people in different, you know, conventions and man, all, all kinds of things are going on, and they're called generals of faith. I said, are you pleasing God today? Oh, you're saying, man, I just can't wait till I retire. And there's nothing wrong with retiring, don't misunderstand me. But to do what? I like to do what? You don't retire from a calling. Now, I know they, re they retire military generals, but if you notice something, they may not be on the battlefield anymore, but they're always calling them for what to do, asking them every kind of thing you can think of. What about this situation? What about that? Because you see, you have been given that knowledge because you've been through some things and I never preach what I'm going through because you don't know the answer. I preach what I'm gone through. See, once you're gone through, then you have an answer. You can effectively speak that. So generals of faith don't quit. So thank you for calling me a general of the faith, but I don't have no quit. I don't have the no quit in me. It doesn't make any difference to me. I don't care what the world's doing. I don't deny what it's doing. I deny it's right. Why? Because God gave us a job. He said, go to the world and preach the gospel. Well, he didn't say, go to the world and preach the gospel until you get old. What? No, no. Go in the world and preach this gospel to every creature. Oh, not to some, not to the ones you like. To every creature. I go in countries, my God, so poor. I've been in some of them with the bugs as big as my fist. I, no air conditioning, sweat like a Missouri mule. And I don't know why Missouri mules sweat more than other mules, but I see people say a Missouri mule. Right? <laughs> but it, that don't make no difference. It don't have to be comfortable. No, no, you have to lead, you know, and he who feeds leads. 
Remember that. See, so there's a no quit here at Justin Apprentice Ministries or in my life. We just made up our mind, bless God, we're going to complete our destiny and reach our destination right here. And it's just such a blessing of the Lord. So what has God called you to do? If he's called you to do something, and I know he has, don't quit. Complete it. And then when it's all said and done, ask for the next assignment. Generals of faith, don't quit. And I believe I'm talking to quite a few of them right now. Thank you for watching Faith the Facts. Faith this, and it shall come to pass. See ya. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.